Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. John Fury, how you doing John? Hope you're well. I know you're watching. <laughs> John, stop with this fighting man talk please. Stop it. I've just been reading on uh internet here some newspaper where you said you had a you had a fight for hundred thousand pounds, bare knuckler. Who were it with John? Where were it at? Who were it referee? And who watched it? And where it's footage? We both know it didn't happen, so stop it. I'll not go any further on that, but stop it. Second thing, John, what are you running around telling people that I'm a blowjob around Dennis Hobson and Peter Fury? Why would you say that? <laughs> That's not very nice, John, is it? Show a bit of class and be nice. Be real, be respectful. You know, we're saying things like that about people. Gets me all upset, John. Makes me want to do a video. So stop it, all right, stop. Thirdly, this fighting man talk, you're a man in his mid fifties, right? We know what sort of people you like to fight, don't we, John? People that are small like that. They're, that's the people that you fight. Now that Mickey Fio, he's ready to fight you, mate. Get in your car, drive all the way down to London, go knock on his kebab shop window, he'll come out and you can get at it. That's what fighting men do, John. They don't talk about it and go back and forward putting videos out, challenging anybody over 50, Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield. Mickey's took you up on your offer, but we're still waiting here six months later, nothing's happened. So when are you going to get at it with him? When are you going to get at it? I don't want to know about all this in arenas and this and that. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Go knock on his kebab shop door and get at it in the street or get at it in Cat Alley. Just get at it. That's what fighting men do. All right. Right, you fought my pal from Doncaster, didn't you, Neil Malpass for the Central Area title. I sent you a DVD, John, do you remember? You still haven't paid me for it, by the way, but that don't matter. Your mate won't sell me another copy, because you told him not to sell any more unless he gets thousands for him, which nobody's going to pay. Now, why is that? Is it because you lost in this fight and got mullered? I don't know, John, but that's the only copy. So what I want you to do, get that DVD out, and I want you to put it on social media. Then everybody can see what you perform like as a fighter. Because he won't sell me another copy. You know me, John? I'd put it on here. I'd put it on my channel, mate. But he knows, doesn't he? Because you, 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 you outmaneuvered me, John, on that, didn't you? So I'll give you your dues. But stop with this fighting man talk, John. And stop with this throwing insults, sexual insults like that. It gets me all upset. It's not nice, is it, John? You won't like it if I said you were a blowjob, were you around Frank Warren? It's not very nice, is it? Alright? So peace out, John. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. You're looking really well. And I give all my respects to you and your family. And good luck moving forward. Alright? Don't have nightmares.